Hi guys, this is Marieta, founder of Immigration Biz, business immigration attorney. In this video, I'm going to talk about what are the options if you want to do business in the US and if you are an entrepreneur and you want to start your company, what are your visa options? And at the end of this video, I'm going to share a link with you where you can actually get a free brochure where you have all the information that you need if you want to consider one of these options for you. So let's start. There are basically three main options. Number one is E2 investor visa. Number two is L visa. And number three is EB5 visa. And then additionally, I'm going to mention something between which is B in lieu of H1B, which is slightly different type of visa, but very similar to B1. As you already know, this is a regular tourist slash business visa. So the number one is E2. This is a wonderful way for people who are from treaty countries, because not everyone can apply for E2. If you are from a treaty country, I did a video where you can access the list of countries that are eligible. Then if you invest substantial amount of capital into your own company or you buy existing business or you partner up with someone who is, for example, American, but in that case, you have to own at least 50% ownership, you can apply for E2 investor visa. I did a bunch of videos on this topic, so you can take a look, you can browse all the videos that I did before, and if you have any questions, please leave them, post them below this video, and I will answer them for you. Number two, L visa. L visa is for people who are running international company, or you are running a company in your home country and you want to open affiliate office in the US. In that case, you can apply for L1A manager visa, if you're coming to the US to open affiliate or if you're sending your employee you can apply for this employee for L1B intracompany transfer visa so in this case you do not need to be from a treaty country all you need is to establish office in the US and you need to have existing business existing company in your home country or you need to be employed as a manager or intracompany employee for at least one year in preceding three years Number three, EB-5. EB-5 is a green card for people who invest at least half a million dollars into regional center or one million into commercial enterprise and you need to hire 10 people within two years. Again, I did so many different videos on this topic, so take a look, check it out. If you have any questions, leave them below this video. And lastly, there is this one, B1 in lieu of H1B. Let's say you are hired by your company and you are they are sending you to do business or working on a project in the US. How can you work on this project temporarily in the US if you do not have a valid work visa, for example, H1B? You can be sent by company from your home country to United States work on this project as long as this company in home country is paying for your trip and it's clear there is a contract between the company in your home country and another company in the US. Again, I did previously video on this topic, so take a look, check it out. I will post below this video relevant links. And these are the four tips, the four tips if you wanna do business in the US, and also I'm going to post a link below this video where you can download the brochure, free brochure, how you can actually get this visa, what are the detailed requirements. And if you have any questions, please leave them below this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please share it with your friends, like it, and don't forget to subscribe to our weekly updates. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.